Mastering Dual Allegiances, Navigating the Challenges Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, serving two masters. This saying has deep roots and carries a powerful message about loyalty, priorities, and the challenges of divided attention. Whether you're learning English as a second language or you're simply intrigued by English idioms, this video will shed light on the meaning, origin, and usage of this intriguing phrase. So, let's get started. The phrase, serving two masters, refers to the difficulty or impossibility of giving your allegiance, time, or effort to two different parties or causes at the same time especially when their interests may conflict. It suggests that trying to please or serve two different entities can lead to conflict, confusion, or ineffectiveness. This expression is often used to highlight situations where divided loyalties can cause a person to fail in fulfilling their duties to either side satisfactorily. This phrase has biblical origins, stemming from Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 in the New Testament, where it is said, No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. This passage emphasizes the idea that divided loyalty is problematic, particularly when it comes to moral or spiritual allegiances. Over time, the phrase has been adapted and used in various contexts to describe any situation where a person's loyalties or responsibilities are split in a way that makes it difficult to serve both parties well. Let's look at some examples to better understand how this phrase is used in everyday language. In the workplace, an employee working for two competing companies might find it impossible to serve both masters without compromising on loyalty or performance. Personal relationships. Trying to maintain equal closeness with two friends who do not get along could be seen as serving two masters, often leading to strained relationships. Politics. A politician trying to appeal to two opposing voter bases might be criticized for attempting to serve two masters as their policies might not fully satisfy either group. Understanding and using idioms like, serving two masters, can add depth to your English communication. It teaches us about the importance of clear priorities and the potential pitfalls of trying to divide our loyalties too thinly. When faced with situations where you feel pulled in two directions, remember the wisdom encapsulated in this phrase. It might help you make decisions that are more aligned with your core values and responsibilities. Thank you for watching our video on, Serving Two Masters. We hope this exploration has not only expanded your English vocabulary but also given you insights into navigating life's divided loyalties. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more engaging content. Remember, language learning is not just about words, it's about the stories and wisdom they convey. See you in our next video.